One of the, the most fiery exchanges of all was over uh, this recent incident involving Congresswoman Karen Bass having two of her guns stolen from her house. Um, she was offended that Rick Caruso did not reach out to her and ask her about how she was doing and instead was sort of questioning whether she legally was keeping her guns. And she expressed that to him, to his face. This is one of the most memorable exchanges. Take a look. My home was burglarized. I called the police and later they arrested two suspects. And the storage and registration were 100% legal. I think this is an act of desperation, Rick. Calling for me, which a letter went out today um, by a member of the city council that I was very shocked by, calling for me to be investigated for the theft that happened at my house. It's a terrible personal sense of evasion. It was. And I said that publicly. And I sympathize with you. After a few you. days. No, I, no, no. It was actually the day I found out about it. But I would also say this. There are two guns on the street now. And we have terrible gun violence in the city of Los Angeles. And that's a shame. And I know that pains you, but knowing how those are stored, yeah. it's a simple thing to answer. So that was a memorable back and forth. We sort of saw a different side of Congresswoman Bass during that. There also was a memorable back and forth over their individual um, challenges when it comes to USC and scandals there as well. Um, all in all, though, uh, I think both candidates had good moments that they will point to and moments that they will point to in social media going forward. The bigger challenge, though, was for Caruso coming in as an underdog, try to change the narrative and have a big dramatic win probably didn't have that tonight. Um, it was uh, very fiery during the L.A. County Sheriff's race, which happened before the mayor's race. Uh, and uh, here is a moment where Robert Luna, the former Long Beach police chief, and Sheriff Alex Villanueva went back and forth over the issue of how to deal with L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon. When you're district attorney and your first day in office, you come down like Moses in the mountains with a tablet and say, this is my special orders, everyone shall follow. That is not a collaborative model. That is not working with all your criminal justice partners to see what areas of the criminal justice system can be reformed. And he has to actually file cases. If he's not filing cases, we can't play pretend that we're going to work together and have this wonderful relationship. He's not doing his job. We have an obligation to work with people even we don't like. Uh, I don't know if I walk into your office, any of you sitting in the audience or watching this on TV, and you just heard me for a week call you names, demean you, say you're going to walk down with two tablets from a mountain. I don't think you're going to be very welcoming to me and want to work with me. This nonsense has got to stop. We've got to start acting like adults and working with people for the benefit of the residents of this county. So that really is the fundamental difference between the two of them. Luna saying that we got to work within the system, work with the Board of Supervisors. Sheriff Vinueva calling him a puppet, saying that those in the system are doing bad things and that he's sort of kind of giving a middle finger to the system. Uh, which approach do you agree with? That's why people have to vote um, in the weeks ahead. We're less than three weeks away from ballots actually going out to people uh, and having their chance to have their say. Marla Christine. Alex, the other... Uh element to our debate tonight that I was proud of is the fact that we took security seriously and there was no heckling at mm -hmm. all from outside or inside. Yes, um, unfortunately, it had to be an invite-only crowd based off of what we have seen earlier this year in terms of people disrupting the event. Uh, we found, thought that it was really important to be able to hear from the candidates and not really make it about the crowd. Uh, these worked hard to get to this point. It's an important discussion, and we're grateful for the audience who was here, uh, an invite-only audience, uh, that were respectful towards everybody. Um, and I think it was a really uh, productive and interesting debate um, where the candidates got got to be the stars and not, you know, random protesters. Well, a lot of hard work on your part, Alex. We thank you for that. It will be interesting to see if the voters are moved in one direction or the other.